Hi, Russ of Aquarimax here. Today I'm going to give you an update on my dart frog tadpoles. I'll explain how I'm caring for them and show you how they've been growing and developing so far. Now just in case you missed my earlier video on the tadpoles, my male began uh, carrying the baby tadpoles on his back and then I put in a small deli cup for him to deposit the tadpoles in and I have since collected three tadpoles. Here's one right after he deposited it. And then once he has uh, deposited the tadpoles in the small deli cups, the two ounce deli cups, I transfer them to a larger 32 ounce deli cup with more water in them. Like the one you see here, the tadpole in uh, this deli cup has actually been growing out for quite a while. The unfortunate thing about putting them in these deli cups is that they're not uh, very transparent. They're just kind of translucent and so it's hard to film through them. But there is a clump of moss in the uh, deli cup along with what is mostly distilled water, but I do add about one-tenth uh, filtered tap water. It's been filtered through carbon and that adds some minerals because my tap water is actually pretty hard and alkaline. And I've temporarily put this tadpole back into the two ounce deli cup just for visibility. And basically for the first month or so, the tadpoles just change in terms of size. There's not a whole lot going on in terms of development other than size. But as you can see here, there's quite a bit of a size difference between the tadpole when first collected and the tadpole about a month later. Care for the tadpoles is really incredibly simple. I just put a small pinch of fish flakes. I've been using Omega-1 Super Color Flakes uh, every other day or so. And I do water changes approximately once weekly, just dumping out uh, most of the water, maybe 75% of the water, and replacing it with a mix of distilled water, about nine parts distilled water and one part carbon filtered tap water, again, to add the necessary minerals to the water. The first developmental difference that really becomes apparent is the beginnings of the hind legs. You can see some very small hind legs on this tadpole. I moved it to a glass container temporarily so you can see. And in this shot, you can see just the little stubby back legs starting to form there. Here's a tadpole that's a few weeks older. And not only can you see well-developed articulated hind limbs, you can begin to notice uh, that there's some coloration starting to show up under the dark coloration of the tadpole, especially the head area and on the hind legs. The forelimbs are also developing. Here they're apparent only as bumps because they're developing internally. But once they are fully formed, they suddenly pop out through the operculae or gill holes of the tadpole. This footage was taken about six days later and not only does the tadpole have well-developed forelimbs, it has a much more uh, apparent coloration and you can also see that it has taken on a much more frog-like shape. Once the tadpole has all four limbs, there are a lot of changes that are going on internally, but the most apparent changes externally are basically the shrinkage of the tail and slight modifications in shape to the body as it takes on a gradually more frog-like appearance. Of course, the colors are a lot uh, more apparent too, as you see here. At this part of the process, I don't need to feed the tadpole because it, it is absorbing its own tail and it is using that uh, as a source of nutrition. I don't think it could really eat much anyway with all the changes going on with its digestive system. Other than feeding, there are some other important husbandry changes that occur at this juncture. One of the most important is that I now need to cover the deli cup with a vented lid because the tadpole could potentially hop out or climb out. And I also need to uh, maintain the deli cup at a slant. As you can see here, I'm just using a very crude method, of putting it in a container and propping it up on paper. Uh, this allows for a variety of depths of water so that the uh, developing froglet now, really more than tadpole, uh, can choose the uh, depth of water where it feels uh, most comfortable. So here's some footage ju taken just four days after the uh, previous tadpole footage, you can see that it's really even more of a froglet in shape. It's got uh, brighter, more vivid coloration. And its tail is a little uh, shorter as well. So it won't be long before it loses the tail entirely, at which point it will be a fully metamorphosed froglet and will be ready to be moved to a terrestrial setup. 
Thanks for watching today. I post videos every Friday, all on aquarium and vivarium pets. Please feel free to rate, comment, share, and if you haven't already, subscribe. And then click the bell icon so you don't miss my next video.